ありがとうございました What is going on guys? Ohio Pepe Gaming here. And today we're finally going to be doing a video on Enemy Warriors. But yeah man, with the release of the My Hero banner, I decided this was probably the best time for me to actually hop on this game. And today I'm basically just going to be showcasing Deku and Bakugo. But yeah, before we jump into the video today, I have a quick announcement for you guys. And it is basically that I left Juju Energy and I am now partnering with Gamer Subs. And just to throw it out there real quick, Gamer Subs is honestly probably the best company I've had so far with these uh, Gamer Energy drinks. They sent me three full tubs, all different flavors, and they were all incredible. You don't get the chalkiness like you do with G Fuel, and you don't get that vitamin flavor with, like you do with the Juju. But yeah, hopefully you guys can check that out. They do have some pretty cool waifu merch. So this is definitely something that would benefit you guys. But yeah, with all that said, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you guys to check out gamer subs and if you find anything you like don't forget to use code opg for 10 percent off your purchase but yeah guys don't forget to like if you're new subscribe hit the notification bell join my discord and if you guys want to play with me make sure you hop one of those memberships so as you can see here on my main account i do have denki ida i have uraraka so if you guys want a video on these three characters definitely let me know in the comments below but yeah let's actually go ahead and start off with the full cowling deku and both of these guys are going to be low level i didn't want to grind them to super high levels because it doesn't represent a fair look into their abilities i feel like if you're going to max out your character before you do a video it's going to look amazing regardless of how good it actually is so yeah we're going to go in with low level characters and we're going to see how we do Alright, so we're at the Colosseum right now. This is the infinite mode. And let's actually just go ahead and take a look at the moveset first. So the first one is Manchester Smash. As you can see, pretty solid animations on this. Next one is St. Louis Smash. This one's a little weird. Oh, alright, actually, they might have fixed that. Alright, let's see that one more time. So yeah, as you can see, you can definitely miss that completely dash back and uh, use it you should be fine next up we have the finger cannon also known as Detroit smash yes sir and then last but not least we have the 5% punch I don't really understand the little hopping around animations oh I hate these bandits bro I hate these gun bandits All right, let's peep that 5% punch again. Yeah, I'm not too sure why they added that uh that little hop, bro, but Yeah, Deku's really not that bad, but he's definitely not the best either. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Bro, I did not pick it up. Pick it up. All right. Yes, sir. The animations on these guys are honestly really, really good. Oh. All right, let's check out Bakugo real quick. Before we end up dying and losing. Uh, this is the stun grenade. And as you can see, that's going to have a pretty nice AOE. Next up, we have the AP shot. This is going to be like a Kamehameha. But just so much cleaner looking. And that basically goes for Bakugo in general. I feel like Deku is kind of plain looking compared to Bakugo for sure. Let me show you guys the Howitzer impact real quick. You guys can see what I mean. Like, look at that, bro. Like, crazy, bro. The effects on Bakugo are way better than they are on uh on Deku. But yeah, last one we have is X Catapult. And it's just AoE after AoE after AoE, bro. You definitely gotta be careful where you use that though. It does leave you wide open. But yeah, the howitzer impact is just crazy, bro. All 
All right, now let's see how far we can get, man. I don't have high hopes just because I am low level. But with Baku, I'm pretty sure I can do some pretty good damage. Oh, oh no, bro. That was the biggest noob mistake ever, bro. I gotta remind myself that AP shot is a beam and not a projectile. Let's bring out Deku real quick. I wanna get to at least the first boss. I don't get that, bro. All right, I think the boss is coming up. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Um, this is probably where the video ends, bro. Let's see how far we can get in this boss fight. Ooh. I'm trying to take out all the bandits first. If at all possible. Wait, does that work if I'm in the air? Ooh. All right, all right, all right. Oh, hold on, hold on. Bro, that did not even hit. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Oh, block, bro, block. I forget you can block in this game. Very nice. Yeah, the blocking definitely makes this a lot easier. Ooh. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. No, this is who we have a chance. Bro. Chill. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. All right, Bakugo, all right. Nah, you guys saw how low he got, bro. You guys saw how low he was, bro. Bakugo made this man one shot in like one combo. All right, so Bakugo is definitely better than Deku. And I've heard a lot of good things about Todoroki as well. But I did not manage to pull him during the recording, so I can't showcase that for you guys today. But yeah, Deku definitely needs a buff. His attacks are kind of weak. Bakugo's abilities are all super clean. They have really good effects, really good AoE, and incredible damage. So yeah, definitely don't sleep on him. But yeah, it's definitely great to be back. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like if you new subscribe, hit the notification bell, join my Discord, and don't sleep on those memberships. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one.